The Light Rail Transit Authority LRTA, is a public transport operator that is responsible for the construction, operation, maintenance and or lease of Manila Light Rail Transit System in the Philippines. Founded by Philippine President Ferdinand E. Marcos on July 12, 1980. It is organized as a government-owned and controlled corporation under the Department of Transportation DOTR, as an attached agency. Train service asterisk asterisk LRTA is responsible for monitoring the LRT-1 concessionaire Light Rail Manila Corporation. Board of Directors The Board of Directors is composed of eight, eight ex officio cabinet members namely the Secretary of the DOTR as Chairman, the respective Secretaries of the DPWH, DBM, DOF and NEDA, the Chairman of the MMDA and the LTFRB and the Administrator of the LRTA and one, one representative from the private sector. The Board is tasked to issue, prescribe, and adopt policies, programs, plans, standards, guidelines, procedures, rules, and regulations for implementation, enforcement, and application by the LRTA management. The Board also convenes to resolve operations-related issues and concerns and other matters requiring immediate attention and resolution. SEC, Arthur P. Tugade, Chairman of the Board, Department of Transportation Gen. Reynaldo I. Barroya, RET, Administrator, LRTA SEC. Carlos G. Dominguez III, Department of Finance SEC. Benjamin E. Diocno, Department of Budget and Management Chairman Danilo Lim, Metro Manila Development Authority SEC. Mark A. V. R., Department of Public Works and Highways Chairman Martin B. Delgra III, Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board SEC. Ernesto Pernia, National Economic and Development Authority ADI. Dimapuno R. Datu, Private Sector Adi. Hernando T. Cabrera, Corporate Secretary, LRTA DOTR USEC. Timothy John Baton, Alternate Chairman of the Board Ongoing Projects LRT 10 and M, Cavite Extension and Capacity Expansion Project during the Presidency of Prez. Benigno Aquino III, the Department of Transportation and Light Rail Transit Authority signed a 32-year concession agreement with Light Rail Manila Corporation LRMC, a private consortium composed of AC Infra, Metro Pacific Light Rail Corporation and Macquarie Group for the LRT-1 operations and maintenance, construction of the Cavite extension and capacity expansion. Under the concession agreement, LRMC is responsible for the operations and maintenance of LRT-1 and construction of the Cavite extension while LRTA is responsible for procuring 120 new light rail vehicles for the capacity expansion and acquisition of the right-of-way for the Cavite extension. As of August 2018, the LRTA already acquired 93.09% equivalent to 202 lots of the required 217 lots of private and public lots. LRT-2 East Extension Project The LRT-2 East Extension Project is a 4KM extension project from the present Santolan Terminal in Marikina City up to Masinog in Antipolo, Rizal which will add two additional stations from the present 11 stations, the Emerald and Masinog stations. The Department of Transportation and Light Rail Transit Authority awarded the Package 1 construction of viaduct and Package 2 construction of the two stations to DMCI. Consunji, Inc. Actual construction is ongoing as of January 2017 and expected to be operational by June 2018. Future projects Philippine Railway Institute, Railway Development Center, in January 2017, LRTA Administrator Gen. Reynaldo I. Barroya, RET, announced the plan to establish a railway school in the country to improve the technical skills of LRTA employees and serve as a training ground for them. As of August 2017, the LRTA is procuring rolling stock simulators for the project. LRT-2 MRT-3 Araneta Center Cubao Link Bridge The project involves construction of passenger walkway to and from the LRT-2 Araneta Center Cubao Terminal and MRT-3 Cubao Station to provide convenient transfer between the two railway systems. See also Manila Light Rail Transit System References External links Light Rail Transit Authority website